but your girl pretty ass shy on the scene. And today, I'm not gonna give you a story time. I'm not gonna give you a makeup tutorial, even though I promise a makeup tutorial. That'll be in my next video. Um, I'm going to be doing a DIY. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, so for those of you who do not know what a DIY is, it's basically DIY. Do it yourself, basically. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to turn a nice bomber jacket like this. I got it from Forever 21, as you can see. I don't care, I'm cheap. I, I bought it for $27. So this is good quality for $27, okay? Like so I bought it for um yeah for $27 at Forever 21 and um I just thought that like it's like it's like a plain bomber jacket like yeah like it's mesh it's nice quality and whatnot but like I feel like I need to add a little bit of like <laughs> oh and so it like you know a little bit of <laughs> what's that you feel me <laughs> so it looks so cute so but like yeah, I'm gonna show you how to turn this plain simple bomber jacket into like something like cute or whatever. So just stay tuned and you'll see what I'm talking about. Y'all like my fro? <laughs> or natural. Okay, let's start. So first thing you're gonna need is a bomber jacket. Like the you're gonna need that. And the second item that you're gonna need is E6000 glue and I'm using this glue for this project because if I'm gonna throw my bomber jacket into the washing machine I don't have to worry about my gems or my rhinestones coming off because this glue is a permanent bonding glue and is a waterproof glue as well uh, the second item that you're gonna need is um, a jewel stencil so the jewel stencil will help you pick up your rhinestones and your jewels so it'll be easier for you to like put them on the bomber jacket or the jacket that you're using for this project. Um, the third item that you're going to need is jewels. Well, items. So you're going to need jewels. So I bought three packs for $3 each. I bought three of these packs for $3 each. And the small pack that I am holding right now, you see that? I bought that off of Amazon. And I paid about, what, 8 or $9 for that. And I thought more was going to come in the pack. So, yeah. They jit me. So, before you um, purchase any jewels from a trimming spot, ask how much it costs. And do not buy it off Amazon because you gonna get judged so just go to your local craft store or trimming spot to pick the right jewels for your project next you're gonna need is a tailor chalk oh, yeah you're gonna need that so you can mark off like where you're put, putting your jewels and your gems so you won't you know get lost on like where you're putting them and like you could like you know keep track the last thing you're gonna need is a measuring tape so you're gonna need this measuring tape to basically help you space off like where you're putting your gems and your jewels so you won't put it too close or too far apart. So right at this moment, I'm going to put my rhinestones on my jacket. So I'm going in with the big rhinestones first. So I'm taking one rhinestone and putting it slanted towards the right. And then I'm going to take another one and put it straight. And then I'm going to take another big piece rhinestone and put it slanted towards the left. So it could give like a floral rhinestone effect. Like a, you know, like a petal rhinestone, like fl flower effect. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So, and before you start gluing it, like if you don't know how to like place it on your jacket at first, just like do like a sample don't glue it yet but just put them together at first to see how it looks and then glue it like how i did it before so yeah. 
So right about now, I'm taking my measuring tape and measuring two inches away from the design that I just made and marking it off with my tailor chalk. If you're afraid to use tailor chalk because it might mess up your garment or whatever the case may be, you can use pins. Um, I'm doing the same exact design, putting one slanted towards the right, one straight, and then one slanted towards the left. And where I could see it could use more rhinestones, I'm putting the little tiny um, teardrop, teardrop rhinestones in between those spaces where I see where it could use more rhinestones. And I'm just going to continue around the collar of the jacket. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much.